Hey there and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Mario and today I'm going to share with you a build guide for Ganyu and also I'm going to help you to consider whether you should pull for her or not. And without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So actually my Ganyu are the max out in terms of her level. She is level 90 and she is actually C0. Now for her weapon, I use prototype crescent because I don't have uh, Amos Bow, which is her ideal weapon. And actually you can craft this weapon um, on blacksmith. So yeah, this is um, an F2P friendly weapon. And as you can see, the main stat is attack and it can increase the movement speed by 10% and attack by 45% for 10 seconds after the charge attack hits on the weak points. So yeah, another alternative actually you can use um, slingshot because the main stat of this weapon is actually crit rate and if a normal or charge attack hits target and it, it can increase damage by 36 percent and also another alternative is actually sharp shooters out the main stat of this weapon is crit damage and it increases damage against weak spots by 24 percent so as if if we look at the genjin articles actually Ganyu's main we weapon is actually Amos Bow but another substitute or replacement weapons that we can use is well actually Skyward Harp or Black Cliff War Bow and if we scroll down for sub DPS you can use Favonius War Bow and for another article well actually you see here you can also use the Fear Decent Hunt for Ganyu's weapon. Moving on to Ganyu's artifact. So I use four set of Wondrous Troop for Ganyu's artifact because it increases charge attack by 35%. And if you want to build Ganyu as main DPS, so far this is the best artifact for Ganyu. And for Sense, actually you need to prioritize uh, the attack percentage as main stats and for the substats it's actually crit rate crit damage and also attack percentage for goblet artifact actually you need to prioritize cryo damage bonus as the main stats and again the substats is crit rate crit damage and attack percentage and for the circlet actually you can either prioritize crit rate or crit damage and the substats still the same you as main dps actually you can use wondrous troop her uh, for her artifacts but if you want to build her a uh, sub dps actually you can build her as uh, i'm sorry actually you can use two set of no blizz artifacts or two set of blizzard artifacts let's see for um, another article so yeah and also actually you can also use four set of simenawa artifacts or let's say four set of blizzards artifacts but in my opinion uh, wonders troop is the best artifact so far for ganyu now moving on to ganyu's talent so actually i've or already maxed out ganyu's talent level in other words i already triple crown her so if you look at the normal attack she can perform up to six consecutive shots with a bow but our focus actually mainly is on charge attack so for her charge attack there are two levels first level and second level for the first level it can fire off an icy arrow that deals quite damage and then for the second level it has frost flake arrow that blooms after hitting its target and dealing aoe cry damage in other words actually it will explode after you hit an opponent and it will deal uh, aoe cry damage on that opponent and then for plunging attack it fires fires off a shower of arrows in mid-air before falling and striking the ground dealing aoe damage upon impact and then uh, we move on to her elemental skill actually uh, it's a some kind of ice lotus and it deals aoe cry damage it can be used to taunt or distract enemies and actually the 
endurance scales based on gun use max HP and it, it will blooms or uh, when it's destroyed or once its duration ends and it will deal a weak cry damage for the surrounding opponents. For her elemental burst, it actually also deals uh, AOE cry damage, but when we activate this elemental burst, it will uh, perform in some kind of rain down ice shards. For her passive talent, actually after you fire a frost flake arrow, which means after you perform charge attack, the crit rate of subsequent frost flake arrow and their resulting bloom effects is increased by 20% for 5 seconds. And if we look at the second passive talent, uh, after we activate gun use elemental burst, it will grant a 20% cryo damage bonus to active party members in the AoE. So in other words, after you activate the elemental burst and then you switch to another party member, if that party member is still in the AoE of the gun use elemental burst, she can deal a 20% cryo damage bonus to the opponent. And also, if you try to craft a bow type of weapons, actually it will refund 15% of the ore used during the crafting process. Set up. Actually, um, ideally you should uh, team her up with Bennett, Mona, and Zhongli. So you can see the detail here. I'll leave the article link on the description. If we look at another Genshin article, actually this is uh, these are uh, best gun you teams but for me personally i team her up actually with iula kokomi or yoimiya and jongli that's my personal party setup um the character usage in spiral abyss so for floor nine um 55.6% of players who own Ganyu actually use her in floor 9. And if we look at floor 10, 64.9% of players who own Ganyu actually use her in this floor. And if we look at floor 11, 56.6%. And if we look at floor 12, 48%. And I would say from these stats, actually, you should uh, pull for Ganyu, especially if you really want her in your team, because she is a great DPS, and also, as you can see from the character usage, is relatively high compared to the majority of other Genshin characters. So yeah, I would recommend you to roll for her. Come on! Focus! 
focus! Solidify! We're way behind schedule. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment, and I'll see you in my next video, bye!